Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of the Kind of Cool Podcast. And uh, this week, it's me again, just soloing it. I, uh, you know, I reached out to um, some guests. <laughs> I, I, it's a running gag on the show. Guests, guests. Um, I reached out to two, um, one right before the podcast, and then one like you know, a week ago, being my brother, he'll be on here at some point, he's got his own life and stuff going on, um, and I got nothing, I mean, I got my dog, I got my Megan, I got my Peyton, but she's gone on certain weeks, so, so it's just me, and, uh, what I was doing before the show, I got on Omegle, I hadn't been on Omegle in a long ass time, and I was chatting it up with some, uh, literal children on Omegle, and I know that sounds bad for me to say, but, there's only like, there was a 14 year old girl that I talked to for like a minute and I was like, how old are you? And she said 14. I was like, okay, I got to skip you now. And then there was these two kids, these two like 13 year old boys, these eighth graders talking to me about TikTok and they showed me a song that was like a TikTok song that was like a literal sex song that had like the nastiest, grossest lyrics in the entire world. Uh, so that's great that 13 year olds are listening to that. But you know what? I listened to the same shit when I was their age and well, I turned out just fine, right? So I thought, um, since I couldn't find a guest and I wanted to actually do something interesting, that I would do a, a series of questions. This is a 100 getting to know you questions. I don't know if I'll do all 100 because I don't want to be doing this forever. And I don't want to have like very super duper. Well, I kind of want to have like, I just kind of want to let it go where it goes because I will talk about the talk I'll talk the talk and answer the question but I want to have some wiggle room if I want to do it fast or slow so to fill up time all right so here we go this is from signupgenius.com so if you want to look at these questions yourself you can find them at signupgenius.com uh sponsor me that's how I'll do your ads all right here we go working with the group of new people and need some conversation starters break the ice and get to know people bettering uh, get to know people better by selecting several of these get to know you questions. Number one, what is your who is your hero? My hero is definitely my dad. I've uh, always looked up to him. He's such a nice, sweet man. Works hard. He can do pretty much anything if he wants to. Uh, he builds whatever he wants. He keeps bees, saves bees. He knows how to play the banjo for God's sakes and uh, some guitar. Uh, like you really just do, if you have some do something with your hands, he knows what to do. And it's, it was great to grow, grow up and have a cool dad. You know what I mean? All right. Number two, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? If I could live anywhere, it would probably be, um, somewhere I don't know. I really like Oklahoma. I know that's dumb because, like, why, like you can live anywhere. Would you? Are you gonna say Oklahoma? I don't know. I like the weather in Oklahoma because I like the different seasons. In Oklahoma, you get rain, you get hot summers, you get cold winters with some snow sometimes. You get nice falls, nice springs if the weather will, you know, give you a chance to get outside because it's been super duper rainy this year and it's been horrible um but yeah someone oh someone messaged me about my camera cool i'll have to get it back to them here in a minute uh while i'm doing the podcast is can i see where she's from it's not my friend it doesn't say she's from ada What did she say in her message, though? Okay, she wants me to send pictures to her phone number. So I'll do that after this. Uh, yeah, I'm selling my camera. Because I'm buying a new camera. Uh, actually, I already purchased it. But just a small upgrade. And I found one super cheap. And you'll see a video of, of me look, looking at that and reviewing that and stuff like that. So, I don't know where I would live if I could live anywhere. Megan would like to live in Florida because that's where her mom's at. Florida would be okay. Um, uh, it's very humid and hot there all the time, though, and I like a little bit more. Um, I like colder weather more than I do warmer weather. 
So, interesting question. I like where I'm at. That's why I bought a house here. What's my biggest fear? Um, if we're going with the funny fears, I've always been scared of sharks. Um, sharks have been my super duper scary thing. Like, just, just cloudy, dirty water. It's been what I really am scared of. Um... And I, I had recently, I was thinking about my fear of, like, not being, not living, not, not reaching my full potential, you know, wasting my life away. That's what I was worried about. It's like, am I wasting my life? Am I wasting my time? That's my biggest fear is just to waste my life. Um... But that's more of a question than, because am I wasting my life? I don't think so. I have a loving girlfriend. I have family. I'm doing stuff that I like every day, like podcasts and all that. It's not what I do for a job. Um, but, you know, this is fun. But that's a fear of mine. What is your favorite family vacation? My favorite family vacation, I guess, would be the one we took to California. That's like the biggest vacation I can think of, and I think it was the most fun because we did a lot of stuff. We went to a water park, we went to Disneyland, went to Universal Studios, so we did a lot of stuff, and it was fun. That's where Nick broke his leg, um, iconically broke his leg, and we had to leave like a day or early or so uh, because it was like a really bad break, and they wanted to have him treated in uh oklahoma so it would make the trip better or the uh it would make the recovery easier or something because they treated him i don't know there was some weird logistics of him needing to go home before they really treated him so i think they they uh got him in a in a, a cast or some kind of boot thing but they didn't really really like set the bones or anything like that or they didn't put the screws in or something but yeah uh Dad drove like 16 hours, roughly roughly 16 hours straight to get us back to Oklahoma. So that was fun. <laughs> um, what would you change about yourself if you could? I would make myself a little bit taller if I could. Just because that would help me in basketball. And I, like, I think t being taller would be cool. I don't want to be, I guess, like 5'10 or 5'11. I don't want to be like super tall. Uh... I don't know why, but I don't. I wouldn't want to be super duper tall, like six three or six three or anything, because once you get once you get that tall, it's kind of like a, you're more of an anomaly, and like stuff becomes too short for you, um, or yeah, too short for you. And I have like I would like to have things like normal for me, like doorways and things like that. I would just like to be a slightly bit taller. Um. What really makes you angry? Uh, people that don't appreciate things makes me really angry. What motivates me to work hard? I don't know. Um, a sense of f fulfillment? Um, family? Money? Yeah, that's... I guess that's it. I don't want to overthink that. Uh, what is your favorite thing about your career? Um, that it's fairly simple. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's my favorite thing. It's fairly simple, and I can just do it, and uh, I don't have to think too much about it. Like, um, I can, and once you've done it for so long, it gets easier, and you can, you know where stuff's at. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's probably the favorite, my favorite thing. What's the biggest complaint about your job? Um, I guess the hours, probably. They used to be better. Well, we work 7 to 4, and now I work 5 to 2. I think the sweet spot for me is like 6 to 3. That would be the best case scenario. Because I like to be up early, but I don't like to be up that early. And I like to get off early, but uh, I don't like to get up that early to be off that early, if that makes sense. What is my proudest accomplishment now that's a big question because i don't know um 
what have I accomplished that I'm super duper proud of? Um, I guess graduating college. I'm really proud of that. I have my uh, degree diploma hang, hanging up in my bedroom, our bedroom, because it took five years, but I graduated, and so I'm proud of that. I'm proud of myself for finishing finishing it, even though I don't use it and maybe and probably really don't even plan to use it. Um, I'm still glad that I... I uh, if I could go back and change it, would I... And I, what I know now that I wouldn't that I don't wouldn't plan to use it, or if I could go back knowing what I know now, I would make sure I completed everything exactly how I needed to because I really kind of didn't, and so I have other things going on now that prevent me from pursuing certain avenues. But I'm okay with that. Uh, but I think if I could go back, I would just I would just get all this YouTube stuff and I would just start it and not stopped. And been doing it this whole time. Because that would have been like, you know, years more of, of videos and experience I would have under my belt. What is your child's proudest accomplish accomplishment? So, let's, I don't know. I don't have a child. I can count Peyton. I don't know what her proudest accomplishment is. Graduating kindergarten? Yeah, oh, that's staying in. That was a weird cough. That my throat was kind of tickling and hurting back there. What is your favorite book to read? My favorite book, um, I used to say it was Animal Farm by George Orwell, but I've recently, not too long ago, listened to 1984 by George Orwell, and I think that's my favorite book. Uh, super quotable. Um, super relatable. It's just a brilliant, you know, look into the future and uh, communism, and uh, it really put it really puts you in a mindset of like of be happy where you are because things could be so much different. And they could change so fast, and you could. It really let, makes me think about like looking to the past. There's a part in the book where um, Winston goes to an antique shop because he and he looks at all these old items and he thinks about the people that had these items and about how things were different back then and you know he just kind of reminisces but he, that's not really reminiscing because it's he wasn't a part of it but he just kind of has these imaginations uh yeah and i was like that's pretty powerful so and of course it doesn't have a happy ending but it's just a great book. So that's probably my favorite book. I haven't read many books, to be honest. Um, I've never read a lot of books when I was a kid because of uh, book reports and stuff like that. But those are all like childish books. Like I never read Lord of the Rings or the Game of Thrones, Harry Potter. So uh, I lean. I try to lean more towards the adultish style books. Just because those are where, like, this the really uh, powerful and then also, like, messed up things are. Like the Chuck Palahniuk books, you know, like Fight Club. And there's one that I uh, was listening listening to a Joe Rogan podcast with him on there. And him talking about the writing groups that he would go to. And then he was talking about how he wrote the book um, Guts. Uh, I think that's just a, a small... A short story in one of his bigger books, you know, filled with filled with short stories. But guts is pretty messed up. If you want to hear something messed up, you know, go find that. But that's the kind of stuff that I uh, am into when it comes to books. What makes you laugh the most? Megan makes me laugh the most, which is great. Um, like I have it. I don't laugh out loud at a lot of things like really really laugh out loud a lot of things but she cracks me up and makes me laugh out loud a lot if you want to talk about um like pe people and shows like red letter media makes me laugh um pewdiepie makes me laugh 
Cody Co. Critical and their podcast is so good. Super Mega. Those are I guess I'm just naming off like YouTube channels now, but they really those those guys make me laugh. <clears throat> what was the last movie you went to? What did you think? The last movie we went to, I think, was with my family, was King Kong and versus Godzilla. I never did a review of that, but it was good. It was really good. Compared to um um Mortal Kombat, because HBO Max released both of those movies, because they're both uh, Warner Brothers movies, I'm pretty sure. Compared to <laughs> Mortal Kombat, Godzilla and versus King Kong is a masterpiece. Because uh, it's, it's so much fun. And it's well shot. The action's great. Yeah. It's a good movie. What did you want to be when you were small? <laughs> That's funny. That was just the phrasing of the question. Not when you were a little kid. What what you what did you want to be when you were small? I wanted to be an NBA player. That's what I really really wanted more than anything. I I practiced. Um, I did summer workouts like AAU ball. I wanted to play in the NBA so bad. Like that was my dream. Um, and I freaking worked at it. You know, I was in the gym all the time shooting shots just playing around, and it was what I like to do. I spent a lot of time in it, um, so I'm pretty good at basketball. I can shoot pretty good. I know a lot of, you know, I don't look like it anymore, but I could I could play some ball. What does your child want to be when he or she grows up? Uh, right now, Peyton wants to be a, vet, a veterinarian, and I hope that she can go through with that because that would be awesome. Except she's allergic to cats right now. Hopefully she'll get over that. I think you can grow out of cat allergies. I hope. If you could choose to do anything for a day, what would it be? If I could choose to do anything for a day, I think I would take me and Megan somewhere. Like, me and Megan go to the nicest resort and slash spa in the world and we just kind of chill we drink some some nice cold alcoholic beverages we get massages we uh, go into this nice hot spa then we go to this nice cool um pool like this huge pool and then we go to a fancy dinner and then we go back to our hotel room at the resort and then we go to sleep and that's it Nothing else happens. Okay? Don't even ask. Just sleep. Uh, if you could choose to do... Okay, I already read that. What is your favorite game or sport to watch and play? So my favorite sport to watch right now is football. I used to love to watch basketball uh, a whole lot. I used to watch it... I mean, because I was obsessed with being in the NBA, so I watched NBA games constantly. I even watched regular season games, not even just playoff games. But, yeah, I, I used to love to watch basketball. I still do. I still would watch it, but I just don't have any channels that have basketball on. It'd be a great thing to put in the background. But I love to watch football now. Football is what I love to watch on TV. Go Cowboys. And I would love to play football. If I could go back to high school, I would play football. Even though I was a short little shrimp, I think I could... Uh, bulk up a, te a teeny tiny bit lifting weights and playing football and I think I'd be okay I'd, I think I'd be a pretty cool a pretty cold safety back there I think I could do safety pretty well uh, on offense I <clears throat> I don't think I was I probably had good enough hands to catch uh, and I probably had good enough uh, footwork to run pretty good routes, but I don't think I was, I'm not the fastest. I wasn't super fast. I was quicker than fast. So I could probably do some, uh, some quick out routes, uh, and some inside slants and stuff like that. But I was never, I wasn't going to outrun you down the field. So, and I probably wasn't, wouldn't be that good with, uh, with, uh, the ball on my hands, like yards after catch. I think I would, I'm, I would be like, I'd be afraid to get hit to be honest with you. Unless, because I, I mean, I, I've never played football, so, but when the last time I did, I was like in fourth grade or fifth grade, and I got just smacked around, and 
I hadn't hit my growth spurt yet, and I was like, this is not fun. I was just getting beat up. Because I, I don't have, like, a very aggressive bone in my body, especially as a kid. But now I could play, and it would be fun. Um, but my mindset was different back then, so. Now, where was I at? Okay, would you rather ride a bike, ride a horse, or drive a car? Ride a bike, a horse, or drive a car. Well, where am I going? Huh? I love bikes. I love biking. So, and because I'm I'm not scared of horses, but I'm kind of scared to ride a horse. I have rode a horse before because I live in Oklahoma, and of course we all have ranches and and uh you know we all live in the desert, and there's <laughs> you know old west towns and six shooters everywhere. So I've rode a horse, but it wasn't the greatest experience in my life. So I would pick bike. What would I sing at karaoke night? I think I would sing, um, I would sing that song by Panic at the Disco, Ha Ha Hopes for a Living. No, I shouldn't pick that because Brandon Urie is too good. His voice is too good. Um, I would pick a yeah Johnny Cash song. I always want to do like um. Early one morning, when da, da, cocaine blues. That's the one I want to do. And also, I'm um, never going to give you up. There's three options. Or you do tequila, right? There's that meme of that guy doing the tequila song. And he just, because all the words, is, it says it's tequila. So he just sits up there and kind of dances while it goes. Da, 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 and then he says tequila. And uh, that's all he does. What a meme. What a, what a hero. <clears throat> All right. What two radio stations do you listen to in the car the most? I don't listen to any radio stations ever. I hardly, I just put play a video on my phone because my radio for one sucks and my stereo sucks in my truck. So I don't listen to that. In, in Megan's car, we just play Apple Music or Spotify. Which would you rather do? Wash dishes, mow the lawn, clean the bathroom, or vacuum the house? So Megan washes dishes. Uh, for the most part, she always does. Sometimes I help. Most of the time, I don't. I always mow the lawn. Um, I clean the bathroom. It's kind of 50-50. She does not like to clean the bathroom. It kind of grosses her out. So I clean the bathroom most of the time. She pro I think she's done it once or twice to really like deep clean or like to get the house clean for guests or something. Uh, but I know she did not want to. <laughs> and then vacuum the house. Um, we have a cool Bissell cross wave, woohoo, that it, uh, mops and vacuums kind of at the same time because we have all hardwood floors. So we both do that. She mostly, she's done it more than I have, but I've done it a couple times, maybe tw two or three times. And I think she's done it probably five times, but it, it kind of just depends. We, but we help each other out and talk about it. If you could hire someone to help you, would it be with cleaning, cooking, or yard work? It would be, if I could hire someone, it would be for yard work because I do not like to mow the mow the lawn. I mean, it's okay, but I don't like it. There's other things that need to be, be need to be maintained. Like there's a tree limb that's like starting to hang down in our yard, and I gotta get a ladder and cut that shit down. It kind of sucks. <coughs> I need some water, but other than that. Cooking would be cool to have a personal chef or something. But I like to cook and, you know, have a beer when I cook or, or, uh, or, what do you, um, grill, grill out. Yeah. Cleaning. Uh, all of these would be nice, but I think yard work would be the most. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, it'd be between pizza or Chinese food, like Chinese buffet food. That makes me want Chinese buffet food right now or pizza. Hmm. Yeah. I should get one of those. Um, yeah, that's my answer. Who's my favorite author? So probably George or what George Orwell. I don't know many other authors. Have you ever had a nickname? What is it? I've had a nickname like that I like Jaybird. And then I had a nickname, uh, Cookie Boy, which I have named myself on on some websites. 
because I always used to get these chocolate chip cookies at lunch, like every single day, because they're so fucking good. I love chocolate chip cookies. And then for a little bit, people would call me Cookie Boy. And it was kind of funny. And it was not like, and it, and it didn't last for, it only lasted like one grade. It was like freaking fourth grade or something like that. Uh, cookie Boy. Would you rather vacation in Hawaii or Alaska and why? Um, Hawaii. Alaska would be cool to go to. I think it would be cool to go to second. I wouldn't want a vacation there first. I would like to go to some tropical Hawaii and see that place and then go to Alaska after that to see a different type of, you know, landscape and take in the atmosphere and all that. Would you rather win the lottery or work at the perfect job and why? Ooh. Um, the perfect job, huh? I think winning the lottery would allow me to have my perfect job, which is just, you know, pay off my house, do podcast and YouTube, and then not worry about money. <laughs> so I would rather hit win the lottery. Because having your perfect job, you could still, like, I mean, well, what is your perfect job? I, I do YouTube and I make uh, $5 million a day, <laughs> so then I never run out of money. But I think that's kind of cheating. Your perfect job has to be like the realistic job that you would want to do, you know? So winning the lottery is better because then I could do this as a as just a hobby and it doesn't even have to make any money or anything. I could just kind of chill. Who would you want to be stranded with on a deserted island? Megan, because she's my friend and I like her. And uh, we would die together. <laughs> If money was no object, what would you do all day? This. I would do this all day. I would uh, hang out, play with Luna, do stuff outside at the park, um, watch movies, watch TV, watch YouTube, eat some food, podcast, record videos, stuff like that. If you could go back in time, what year would you travel to? Um, I would travel to, um, let's see, what's something cool that happened? I don't want to go, I don't want to go too far back, because everything sucked in the past, you guys. I would probably go to, like, that's tough. Somewhere, some, uh, I don't know. Somewhere in the 80s, I guess. I would travel back in time to 1994 when Jurassic Park came out in theaters, and I would go watch it a bunch of times. How about that? Hmm? How would your friends describe you? Nice. Kind of cool. See what I did there? Kind of cool podcast, huh? And ugly. Fat and short. Because <clears throat> my friends hate me. There we go. What are your hobbies? I've kind of talked about my hobbies. It's podcasting. It's doing YouTube. Filming. Stuff like that. It's basically my hobbies. Playing games. Streaming. Some here and there. What is the best gift you have been given? The gift of life. Thanks, Mom. Uh, I don't actually know what the best gift I was, best gift I have been given. Uh, you can, hope, you can hear Luna out there barking. I hope not. Uh, Megan got me this Alcoholics Anonymous type thing that has my name on it. It says souvenirs. It's a shadow box that you throw your, uh, bottle caps in. That was funny. Uh, cool gift. I liked that. What is the worst gift you ever received? Why would I tell you? That's a man, that's just bad and offensive to people that have given me gifts. Aside from necessities, what is one thing you could not go a day without? Um, I don't want to say my phone because I think I'd go a day without my phone. I went a whole week without using social media at the start of this year, like a detox type thing. It wasn't so bad. 
And since I've been so busy recently, I haven't even been looking at Facebook or Twitter or anything that much. Like yesterday, I hardly did it at all because I was so busy. Today, this morning, I had to because I was at uh, waiting in line at the Walmart um, Automotive Center. So, um, I guess I could go not go one day without using my computer. Probably, I really like to be on the computer. List two pet peeves. Pet peeves are hard for me because I don't, I can't think of them off the top of my head. I have to like be in the moment and see them and be like, yeah, I don't like that. And this specific thing I don't like. But I don't, but then I don't remember what those things are and I can't, I can't ever remember them or pin them down to like, yeah, this is a pet peeve of mine. Megan could probably tell me. She'd probably, she could probably be like, yeah, you don't, this is something you don't like. This is something you don't like. And she'd be like, it's ridiculous that you don't like this specific thing, but, you know, that's what pet peeves are. It's, they're kind of like ridiculous gripes, right? Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, hopefully doing YouTube full time. I hope that that happens, but if not, I'll be here. Me and Megan will be, will be married. We'll be at our house. Peyton will be 13. She'll be a teenager now. And, you know, I'll be making a little bit more money than I am now because, I mean, pay goes up if I'm not doing YouTube or anything. And I'll be 33, so I'll be, uh, I'll be early 30s. And, I don't know. I guess just living life. How many pairs of shoes do you own? I own about like four pairs or five pairs of shoes, and I only wear like three of those. Megan has a lot more shoes, but of course, is that bad to throw a blanket statement saying girls have more shoes than guys? Because it's not always true. There's lots of rappers, and I think like um, some crazy one time Usher, uh, we did like they did, oh, we did like I like I'm saying we like went to his house. No, like MTV Cribs, like went to his house. And he has so many shoes. I think he never wore a shoe, a pair of shoes twice or something like that. Like he just always got new shoes. And I was like, what? Why? How even? That's crazy. A new pair of shoes every day. Like they were like K-Swiss or some shit. Because this was like early 2000s. So K-Swiss were still a big thing. <laughs> it's just crazy to me. All right, next question. I'm going to do 10 more questions, and then I'll end this one. So, okay. If you were a superhero, what powers would you have? Um, I'd always want, I'd want just Superman powers. But if I could, if I only had to have one superpower, it would be like, um, like uh, Professor Xavier's power, like mind reading. And uh, mind control, because he just is, he just has a lot of power, and it would be so cool to know what everyone's thinking. Like if you could control it, like he can, you know, you can read their mind, and um, then you would never have to like. I mean, you could just be a wizard, you know what I mean? Ace everything, all social interactions. You know, you know exactly what people are thinking. You can start acting different, and then they'll be like, oh, you know. He, he was being a little bit too nice, and now he's being, you know, just average. Or he was being a dick, now he's not, because you heard the person say in their head, he's being a dick. That's kind of a... Now that I'm saying that out loud, it's a little bit lame, but whatever. That's my power. Fuck you. What would you do if you won the lottery? Uh, we kind of talked about that earlier, so I'm just going to skip you that one. What form of public transportation do you prefer? Air, boat, train, bus, car. Public transportation. Um, I guess a car, because here in Oklahoma, I mean, the we don't have, like, big traffic problems, so I can take my car anywhere. Flying is cool. I've only flown once. I've been on a boat once. I've been... I think I've ever been on a train. I've been on a school bus, but not a public transport bus but next question what's your favorite zoo animal um 
I never really thought about it. I don't really like I don't really have a favorite zoo animal. Um I really like wolves. Wolves are cool to me. Um I don't think wolves are in are in zoos though. Like they have maybe they have some kind of breeds of dogs. I remember last time we went to the zoo in Oklahoma City, there was like some coyote looking dogs or uh they were like dingoes or something for like Australia. They were kind of cool. The uh, elephants were cool to see. The giraffes was cool to see. It would be cool to see the bears if the bears would actually come out. The bears didn't come out last time. So, yeah, I guess there's that. If you could go back in time to change one thing, what would it be? Um, It would be to find Megan earlier. That's what I would change so that we could be in love at at a younger age. <laughs> if you could share a meal with any four individuals, living or dead, who would they be? Um, okay, so barring like relatives, let's just go with four people. Um, I guess let's just say all the official podcast boys. Let's say Charlie, Andrew, Jackson, Kaya. There's four, and then I'll have to think too hard about it because I like those guys, and that'd be it'd be a cool dinner. How many pillows do you sleep with? I sleep with two pillows: one for my head and one to cuddle with, put my put between my legs, whatever. That pillow just is like my cuddle buddy, and I do whatever with it. What's the longest you've gone without sleep? Probably like in high school or right before high school and it was probably me and Jaden and maybe it was a sleepover and we just played games or we watched tv or hung out like probably me drew Jaden and uh Danny probably at one of their at their house or our house and we probably just stayed up like the longest just because we could you know what's the tallest building you've been to the top in building um probably a hotel I th yes at um at the durant casino R hotel and resort when i did when i was doing evs which is like just cleaning i wasn't a uh a housekeeper but i was like cleaning that the casino i went up to the um chief suite which is like the presidential suite at a hotel, but of course it's an Indian hotel, so it's called the Chief Suite. <laughs> and uh, it's the highest top um, room in the in the uh, hotel. So it's at the very, very tippy top, and it's the biggest room. So I went in there to just see it, because, you know, they show you, they show you it, and they can... Because um, you work there, and you want to see, like, the big, nice hotel room. So it has a balcony... And it's glass, and it's the, of course, it's the highest in the building, and the building's like 20 floors or something like that. It's a big building. So I went up there and looked kind of, I didn't, I'm scared of heights when I'm not like in a roller coaster seat. If I'm in a roller coaster seat, I'm kind of fine because it's built and designed by engineers to, you know, hold me in there. But if I'm walking on the ledge or going to the ledge, it's like I'm kind of controlling what I'm doing, and I'm afraid that I, myself will fall over the edge. Uh, cause I'm not strapped in, you know, I could take a false step tripping. Oh no, I'm off the edge. I'm over the railing, but yeah, I got close enough to look down. It's, and that's as highest I've been in a building. <clears throat> Would you rather trade intelligence for looks or looks for intelligence? I'd rather trade, uh... I don't know. I like, I would like, I would love to have a good balance, but... I would trade intelligence for looks because pretty people um, go f go farther easier in this world. Smart people can go really far and really high, but it takes more work <laughs> because they have to like build an entire company or they have to invent something. If you're pretty, you could just do, you know, OnlyFans or whatever, and you make money. How often do you buy clothes? Um. I go shopping for clothes like once a month or once every two months or so, like buying clothes at like Ross or 
Um, one of those, like TJ Maxx, places like that. I don't, I don't really shop at malls or anything. Um, I buy lots of clothes from those types of places, so they're like discounted and stuff like that. I haven't bought any clothing in like a while. Like I used to go on these, when me and Maggie would go to the city, I would buy like five shirts or three or four shirts and like two pairs of pants and stuff like that. But I haven't done that in a while. I bought a shirt today though for this weekend, like a uh, patriotic shirt. It has a an eagle with sunglasses and a do-rag on it. So that's fun. Maybe you'll see that in a video. Have you ever had a secret admirer? Maybe. Doubt it. Next, what's your favorite holiday? I really like to say thanks, uh, pss, sorry, not Thanksgiving. The food's great, but I always like to say my favorite holiday is Halloween. But I think I may be lying to myself, and I think it's actually Christmas. I think Christmas is my actual favorite holiday. But I really do love uh, Halloween. So I still say Halloween's my favorite, but I don't know for sure. What's the most daring thing you've ever done? <clears throat> All right, this is a story. This is this is the last question. This is what I'll end on. Um, so this is a story, guys. Listen up. All right, gather around, gather around. The most daring thing I've ever done in eighth grade, no, seventh grade, we had a basketball tournament in Stringtown, the Stringtown Tournament. We, I played basketball, of course, because I talked about it earlier. I really tr tried hard at basketball. So in seventh grade, we got it. We got to the championship game, and I had this super duper high school musical esque plan in my head of I'm going to write this note to the girl that I really like, and she doesn't know it, and I'm going to give her this note. I had I had a, an accomplice, someone I hired. <laughs> I brought them on to give her the note before the game that said like, hey, I think you're awesome, you know, I really like you, maybe we should do something sometime, or whatever I wrote, I don't remember, I just remember that I confessed my true feelings in this note, and I was like, it's gonna be awesome, I'll, I'll, she'll get it right before the game, she'll uh, read the note, and I'll be out there playing basketball, For then we're gonna win the championship, and then we're gonna kiss after the game's over, and all that, you know, just like hopeless romantic kid stuff, so I gave her, she ended up getting the note, um, we played the basketball game. We did win. And I, I mean, I played well. I don't remember how good I did, but I know that we played well and we won. So we were Stringtown tournament champs, baby. Um, <clears throat> and, and then, uh, she did get the note, but I, we never talked about it afterward. <laughs> like, uh, I think it was just kind of like, she didn't really feel the same way or I don't know. It was a weird thing because, I think her parents weren't really into like having her talk to boys or like be interested in boys or dating boys or having boys over to their house or anything like that. So I think she kind of like had to keep her distance for that reason, as well as um, maybe that she just wasn't interested, but that was pretty daring of me. And that's my story. It's pretty funny, huh? <laughs> I had this, I just had this whole big deal, this whole dream scenario in my head, and it never works out. Never make plans, people, because if you just go for it, you make a plan in your head of what you're going to say, what you're going to do, never works out that way. So it's better to just go for it. You know, have a, have a small idea of what you want to do, but don't, don't have like years of information in your head planned of something that you're going to do because it won't work that way. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Thanks, guys, for listening. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned something about me because that's the whole point of this episode. So guests coming soon, hopefully. Megan was, Megan is usually my, you know, co-host for this, but she was, we just kind of got behind, so she's at school, and I didn't want to have her do a podcast with me this week. I thought I could do something like this. So it would be kind of fun. So that's it. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Subscribe, like, comment.